Hi there and welcome to Merinos Biology. Today's discussion is on the topic of trichomoniasis. Trichomoniasis is a sexually transmitted disease that is caused by flagellated protozoans. And these protozoans are called trichomonas vaginalis. This kind of disease is only transmitted during sex when there is exchange of fluids. That times that's when the trichomonas vaginalis is transmitted from one partner to another. And where does this trichomonas vaginalis locate itself? If it's in men, it locates itself in the urethra. Secondly, if it is to a female person, then it locates itself at the vagina, at the vulva, and also at the urethra. Women also have urethra at that urethra part. Now, there are signs and symptoms of trichomoniasis. Not all people normally show the signs. Most people are asymptomatic. They does not show the signs of trichomoniasis. The symptomatic patients always start experiencing their symptoms when they have sex after a period of one week to a month. That is from seven days to 28 days. These are the signs that they have. I'm going to start with the signs that men experience, then I'll also give you the signs for women. So first, the signs for men. First of all, they normally feel the itchiness at the inside of the, of the penis, that is at the urethra. They may release discharge, white discharge, and also there may be bumps at around the testicle areas or sores around the testicle areas. The signs of women are as follows. One, there is itchiness around the genital areas. Two, there is sores around the areas and they normally experience burning when they are urinating. They may experience change of their discharge, that is, their discharge may be white, yellow, and with such signs and symptoms, one should be able to realize that they may be suffering from an STI or STD. And so with that, you can go to the hospital, be tested, just to confirm if you have the infection. Now, how can you prevent this trichomoniasis? One, you can abstain from sex. Secondly, if you are sexually active, you can limit yourself from having more than one partner. So try to have one sexual partner and make sure that both of you test negative trip on trichomoniasis. Third, you can use CD to prevent the exchange of those protozoans during sex. Diagnosis is as follows. First is the microscopic examination of vaginal fluids which will show the trichomonas protozoans and the lab technician should observe that within 10 minutes so that they can be able to see the movement of the trichomonas vaginalis. Secondly is the nitric acid amplification test. The test normally shows the DNA of the trichomonas vaginalis. When it comes to treatment, first of all, you should go to the hospital. Then if the results test that you're positive of trichomoniasis, then you'll be able to be given some drugs for the treatment. These drugs include tinidazole, nitrotinidazole, metronidazole. They are important for your health. And it's better you go with your sexual partner so that both of you can be treated because there is possibility of a person getting the trichomonas again even after taking the antibiotics drugs. Okay, many people normally ask, is it possible for condition to worsen when someone has trichomoniasis? Yes, it's possible. First, there will be discomfort when you are urinating. That's going to be good for you. Second, also, there will be that itchiness which is so annoying, so unnecessary. Thirdly, there will be risk of 
the spread of HIV due to the inflammation that is caused by trichomoniasis. Also, some people normally ask, can a pregnant woman transmit the infection to the child? Yes, it is possible. When you are pregnant, it's better you be checked if you have trichomoniasis just to protect your kid from getting the infection during birth because it is possible for that to happen. Especially when you are giving birth, there can be the exchange of fluids and it won't be okay for the kid. If you want to be safe from trichomoniasis, it's so common, you might be having it but you don't know if you are an asymptomatic patient. But it's good for you to test whether you are negative and for your partner to test whether they are negative just to be safe and to be assured that you are okay. And also for the purpose of trusting one another. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Trochomoniasis. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Like, subscribe if you've not subscribed, share widely, and always remember to keep your notification bell on so that you can be notified anytime, anytime I upload a video. Peace. Love you guys. Heart you so much. Stay tuned always. See you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Tulu